also do a home project I'm doing for my telephones. Um, I do have MBF phone on this house, but every time it seems to conk out. What I've been doing, I've had this little forgery around, I've had this for a while, I'm going to set it up to the air wheels outside this time. So I made this little wooden mount. What I'm going to attach up there with self tapping screws with my drill. Then I'm going to put the modem inside with the Telecom Australia phone. Not this one here. I've already got this one out here, so I can't show the one I'm using because the one I'm using has my telephone number written on there. But I'm going to set the Telecom one up with the number, and then I'm going to set it up with my phone sim. So these are perfect for this type of reason because you actually use these in caravans as well because they are uh, caravans or RVs or camper vans um, and they'll work anywhere because um, they work off 4G. Um, but in Australia, you can only work on any any cell company except Vodafone now because I did um, Vodafone has to shut down the 4G service around this area now, so you can't get these to work off Vodafone 4G. You can do any other company except Vodafone. I've got a Telstra one here and it works. But we'll chuck my mum's Optus sim in here in a minute and test it once it's all set up to see if it does. We'll have to recharge the sim what's in there. I'm going to mount this up here, Bajul. I'll show that after I've put it up. Now I've got the 4G router set up on the thing. I just recharged him off my laptop. I've got the sim set up on my laptop so I can actually recharge off my laptop so I don't have to use the phone sim in the mobile. Previously, my Vodafone, I had to take the sim out of here and put it in here. But as Vodafone doesn't take these 4G routers anymore, I have to use Telstra. But it's really handy that because it's on my laptop I use. What's that one over there? I can link it up to the number and reach out with that. There's the antenna I mounted put me out here, some self tapping screws. There's the cable, runs down, and then into here. Then I've got the 12 volt feed from the main side right here. But if I really wanted to in an emergency situation to power everyone out, I can still get a phone line out for emergency calls if my mobile is dead. I can pick this up there. Well, that what it does. Uh, I can put it on here. Like that. You can put these in caravans, camper vans, RVs, etc. I um, may work it, just plug that into, and then you can plug that into there, and I'll run it off 12 volts. Can you just set the um, things off the battery for me? I can't pull it off one handed. And I've got the telephone here. This is not the one I'm going to be using, but the one I'm going to be using is in there because it works better with that one because it's all programmed that, but I'll be programming in a minute. I can't show it because it's got my mobile number on here, so I'm not going to show it. Clip those, take those clips off the battery for me, please. I'll, show you, I'll demonstrate this working now. There's a dial tone. So if I read my, my mobile, my mum's mobile number here, it should, it should, it should ring. I made the phone might be turned off. Is it ringing? Yeah, it should. It's just having. Yeah, it rang, but I'll ring my mum's mobile number again. Did it ring before? Yeah, it should do. If it, tell me if it rings. Don't answer, just let it ring. Is it ringing? See, it's ringing my mum's mobile number. Can I say something again for the receiver? Yeah, he is working fine, as you can see. My mum. Now, if my mum rings my number, what's under the um, under the number? I can't really um, demonstrate that. Right, we tell her the number. You know, that's a four G number, not the my uh, one with um, ending in um, one one two four. I think it's under Ouija listed it as because it's a four G number. Should be that uh, if it doesn't end in one one two four. Is it ringing? Yeah, they, yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, that's it, ring it now. And it should ring. Is it ringing? Yeah, it is. Yeah, now say something in the receiver. Yeah, but it works, but it's working over the 4G setup. What I'm actually using this for, most of the time, and uh, my friends experienced this a couple of times at my old place, I'm SDY trying to this a long time ago at my old place, usually in Park Towers, where I had no internet and phone. What it's for is, if that ever goes off my router, you switch the LEDs on. I'm filming still anyway, but if that ever goes off, I've got a PBX unit. 
Yeah, I've got a PBX down here um, that does the pulse tone conversion. So if I need to, I can, if that still works, if the power's up but the internet goes down, I can plug the phone line from that PBX on the outside line circuit onto that modem and then if I dial the zero from my 746, from the 746, I can get an outside line um, and then dial out. But it doesn't set pulse dialing these little modems, but I use a PBX that does the pulse tone conversion. But if I leave my home number, you should go hear the thing. If I leave my home, my, my home number, you should hear the bells ring. Tush. Alright, let's ring that landline phone there. I'll hang up. So this is my little 4G setup. This is not the phone I'm going to be using. But the cool thing about this phone, I didn't pay anything for it. I got it for free on the side of the road um, in South Melbourne. And it still works. And I got this little router. So I'm going to set this up inside shortly and get the telecom phone somewhere in here and then get it all wired up and working as a backup phone line. Um, uh, these little modes are perfect. You've got something for, like I said, for caravans, RVs, camper vans, any type of vehicle, say a work van, something like that. So if you're on a job site and, and you want to have a, a phone so, so people ring you, you can ring that. But don't put one of these in your car, um, one of these, because if you put it in your car, you're likely going to get pulled over by the the old bill if you have this on your ear when you're walking down the road I don't know but I did ask them that but I don't think they, if you're sitting on, they did say if you're sitting on the side of the road um, like you know safe side of the road you can use this when not moving the car it would be alright but not when you're driving holding a handset but this is another 4G router setup now the aerial is permanently up here now I did with my drill so now I'm gonna set the phone up inside Right, the cave now I've got the phone set up. Now I'm showing the one I'm actually using above what I've just done to cover over my number. Hang on, my zero's name doesn't like his name uh, mentioned on YouTube. Um, this phone is set up so when I press one of these buttons on the bottom here with my friend's num names in, it'll auto dial the telephone numbers. So this is set up on the thing, but uh, what I've done outside, because the problem I have with this, I wasn't getting good 4G reception in this house when I had this set up. I've done a quick bodge job. We I put the um, little piece of wood and an aerial seat in there and it sits out there and then the wire goes down the window through the little gap I made. I then you start fly screen on this window, I took it all off because I'm actually just putting the wires in. And then it's wired up on the window side. So I did I put a block of wood across the metal there to screw it in because because there's a ta cell tappers going in the metal, don't fit in the telephone's hole or in the motor to put a block of wood across with some screws. That battery is part of the circuit um, as well. Um, if I need to run it in an emergency, I can pull the cable off, connect the things to the battery, and run it. Well, if I don't know how long, but one day I get some spare time on my hands. I'll just do a test run running it with um, the battery non stop on this, see how it lasts on a full battery before the battery dies. The battery I'm using is one I use on my hybrid bill. When it's not used for the hybrid bill, I run it on that. I might all connect up to the power supply of it and charge it up. But this is my little telephone somebody in my living room.